Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. Today, we're gonna be exploring around having two main goals. One, I hope, how did I not see this? Hold on, how did I not see this right here this entire time? <laughs> My main goal is to find Diglets in today's episode, but I'm also looking still for the Zorora event. I would love to take on Zorora, but it hasn't shown up. So my goal today is to hopefully find Zorora and take it on full force and see how it goes. If that doesn't work out, if we don't find Zorora, I can at least try to find as many Diglets as possible in today's episode, preferably the last of them, even if that's all we do in today's episode. So, Diglet has returned to its trainer. That was actually the last, you need to find one more in the Fields of Honor. Oh, I swear that that was the last one before. I guess not, but seeing how apparently my skills of finding them are so bad I didn't find the one blatantly in front of me, it shows you that even if there's one still out here, might have a hard time finding it. But if we see any new Pokemon that we have not caught, I will definitely go for them. Don't get me wrong with that. I just might not be my highest priority, so if we might not be go, going hunting in the tall grass or whatever, unless I, like I said, see a Pokemon I definitely have not caught. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be looking for Diglets and stuff and hoping that I can also stumble upon a Zorora. Now the problem right now is that it's very foggy, so it's hard to tell where the different potential uh, Dynamax raids could even be. So that's something I'm working on. <laughs> but for right now, yeah, I guess the hunt is on. Aha, here it is. Okay, it was just behind this rock right here. Ah, uh, that can be anywhere, which makes it tough. But Diglett returned to its trainer. That is all of the Diglets in the Field of Honor already out of the way, which is awesome. So the next place we have to go is a bit more tricky. It is going to be at the Soothing Wetlands. Um, so that is 16 in the final. I think that's the biggest group of them we need to discover. And that starts over this way. And this area is quite wide open. So I'm not too surprised we haven't done the best of job at finding things. But I'll keep at it. And I'm sure we'll discover more as we go along. So Soothing Wetlands, maybe I'll like make a big circle around and just worry about one side for right now. And just sort of see how that goes. And once again, if we can see right over that way, there is a Dynamax den raid think kind of thing. That's something I'm also going to be focusing on. I'll sort of make my way over there and hope that we can find everything we're looking for. But also, if we get to some stuff on the floor, that's awesome. If we do run into battle, so be it. Might be a bit of a long episode, but here's a Diglett. There we go. So that means there are 15 left. Yep, 15 more Diglett left to find. I don't think they can be like in the water or anything. So as long as I sort of stick to the wall for right now, I think that's my best bet. And we'll branch out a little bit more as we sort of discover what's around. There's a crow gunk. Don't need to worry about him. Might go the long way around here just to see. Didn't know if there was anything. Am I stuck against the wall? That was weird. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, Hmm, what is that? Oh, that's a, I know what that is. Forget its name, we already have it. Don't need to worry. Huh. So I'm not gonna go too far out here. I just wanted to take a quick look around. Aha, here's one. So, there's another Diglett. I feel like we're not finding them at the rate they would need to be found for it to be 14 more Diglett around here, you know? But I guess we'll sort of figure that out. There's another item right here, the Galerica Twig. And what else can we figure out? Hmm. But yeah, if we could just find all of the Diglett in today's episode, that would make me happy. But the second best thing I would be happily settling for is finding Zorora and taking him on. One of those two things has to happen in today's episode. Aha, here's another Diglett. So with this one, what do we got going on? Uh, 13 more left, and we should be getting a bunch of new Pokemon for doing this. He usually gives us some foreign forms of Pokemon. Ah, uh, there's another one. Very cool. So whenever you just see sort of like a bunch of brush all together, different grass and flowers and stuff, that means you gotta check around there. Here's another one. I saw this one from a little bit away. Okay. So now we're starting to pick up the pace a little bit more. We'll have more Diglett left to find. It'd be cool if there was like something you can buy that would help you make you to find them easier, like a Diglett tracker or something. Here's another one. Okay. And we'll know if we're in a different area if when I walk it shows it on the bottom left. Like, hey, you've reached this area. There's a health feather and a pretty feather. Those are good to have. Don't know if I'll ever use them, but I have the option now. Hmm. Not seeing too much over this way. There's a little choodle. What is this in the water? A star piece. That's good, I think. Maybe. I have no clue. I always forget what all the items do. There's so many of them. You'd think that there'd be something around this way, but I am not seeing much. And I guess I might as well get a couple of berries while I'm here, right? So yeah, I don't know if the other side of this area, the other side of this lake, this river counts. So we'll check that in just a second, just to be extra sure. I'll shake it one more time. 
and that'll be it for right now. Okay, so got all that out of the way. Nope, I do not want to shake it again. I, there's nothing to shake, I guess. Okay. So yeah, let me try going across like this, and this is Challenge Beach. That's great and everything. I love Challenge Beach, but it's not where I want to be right now. I want to I want to stick to the uh, the marsh. So we explored on that side. Might as well talk to this lady because I think that she's just gonna tell me about awesome Pokemon she saw. What? Which one will it be this time? This is uh oh Screlp. I want to see Screlp. That seems cool. So I'll keep looking around for Screlp. Gonna be in the water, of course. Now this area has to have a Diglett that I just haven't seen, right? You would think, but no. Lots of Pokemon are popping up, but once again, nothing new so far. I'm sure that whatever new things we have to find, we're really gonna have to scrounge for, because we've found so many Pokemon in this area already. Honestly, just in the entire Isle of Armor, we've done a great job at finding lots of Pokemon, and I'm hoping to continue with that with Zorora, because I'm running out of time to do that, you know, that just slowly my days are going away. I don't see too much going on around this way, but I'm trying to make extra sure of everything. Hmm, because I think I sort of adventured this part. Yeah, the sort of the center of it, hard to really pinpoint one exactly. I want to search that a bit more. But there's so many. So how far do I have to walk out toward the forest of focus? Right there, okay. So, not too much there. And if I, oh, okay, don't need that guy. Hmm. I don't think there's any low, like not high grass over there. So I think we're fine just to keep moving with a tiny mushroom. This doesn't look like it has any berries in it, so no worth in shaking it. And this is where it's like, once again, we're sort of hitting a drought of Diglett that gets me very worried. There has to be something around here, you know? We're already in the little center of that area, so don't need to worry about that. But it's weird that there's just not really anything. Either I'm doing an awful job, which is likely, or they're just really bunched up somewhere else. Okay, so what about over this way? We got a Pokeball, cool. And, oh, here's one, here's one, that's good. Maybe this is a sign that things are gonna pick up again, because that is now nine more left to find. That is so much more for what I think is really not much left of this area. Let's shake this tree a little bit. See if we can't get at least something good out of this. We got a yellow apricot there. I got Papa Berry, and then finally. Okay, so in total six things, that's fine. Okay, so. I'm not seeing much at the moment in terms of uh, any more diglets? They, they're just, they're, they're sometimes all over the place and sometimes they're nowhere to be found. I swear that they'll pop up again later. Like you'll miss them and they won't have actually been there and then they're just like, oh, I'm here now. I know that's not true, but it feels that way. We got a leak, an item to be held by a far-fetched, this very long stiff stalk of leak boosts its critical hit ratio. That's cool. That's specifically for far-fetched. You don't have too many items, I don't think, uh, that are, specifically for one Pokemon. Did I just see one? Yes, I did. Sometimes it's so obvious, too. Because they have like a thicker outline to them. Eight more left to find, though. I mean, I guess there's still a fair portion of land. And I do sort of want to poke around this center area, too, before we leave. Aha, because of stuff like this. There we go. Which means seven more left to find. Any on this, oh, this is not an island. I was gonna say this little island here. Not an island. Okay. I'm not seeing much, so I'm hoping we've done a good enough job that we can head back this way. Excuse me, pardon me. And this is where we started, but now we can sort of dissect this side a little bit more. That's my main goal. Okay, some more Pokemon that we've seen a bunch of times. But I'm sure that we'll find some. Imagine they had this for all of Gower, though. I would have never been able to do this. But, you know, maybe eventually. 
Yeah, it makes me very interested. You know, obviously at this point, we're pretty far into the post game of Isle of Armor. And once we're done, we're gonna be going back to the main Galar region and figuring some stuff out there for sure. I have a lot more I have to do, mostly just trying to catch all the Pokemon, which are getting closer and closer to. Definitely the Isle of Armor has helped with that. Um, and it's just basically tying up a couple of loose ends with most of them. I think that our team is more powerful than ever, so doing Dynamax and Gigantamax battles shouldn't be too bad. Here's another one. Okay, which means there are six more, and I really don't think there's six more in this little corner here, but I will be checking as if there could be, because I know there's a Pokeball here, so we have not been in this little area. You would think that'd mean there's a Diglett, but there clearly is not. Okay, bottle of protein, and choose to drink for Pokemon. When consumed, it raises the attack base points of a single Pokemon. That's cool. And I'm not seeing anything more, so I'm thinking we will just ride over here a little bit, and just sort of take our time exploring. On this side, I see nothing. How close do we have to get before it becomes a cave? Right there, which we found everything in Brawler's Cave in terms of Diglett, so. That's good, but I'm really not seeing any more Diglets. And then we're just back here again. So we still have like five or six mystery Diglets. I have no clue where they are, and I just must have walked over them. I just had to look over again. Aha, here's one by the tree. This one's a bit sneaky, so sort of makes sense that I missed this one, but there we go. There's another one, Diglett returned to its trainer. Five more left to find now. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's one in the yellow little flowers here. Man, it is just so tough to find these and spending so much time here, but there's four more left to find. Oh, there's one in the red little flowers right here. Okay, there we go. And that means there's three more left to find. Okay. Oh, here's one. Okay, man, how many more can we possibly find? Apparently two more. They gotta be really close here, I can only imagine. As I say that, right here, <laughs> here's another one. Okay, so one more left to find. Where is it? Am I really that bad at finding them? <laughs> I guess so. I was already over here and I missed this one, but there we go. Diglett returned to its trainer. You found all the Diglett in soothing wetlands. Awesome. So now we gotta figure out where we gotta go next and try to find all of them there. So there are supposed to be four more Diglett left to find in the forest of focus. So this is where we are now and we'll hopefully be able to find those four Diglett without too much of a problem, but there is a lot of grass and like brush so that might be a bit difficult. We found a white apricorn right there. And I'm definitely just not even gonna bother being on the bike. This also gives us a good opportunity. Here we go, here's one of them, one of the four. So now there should be three left, right? Yep, there we go. So yeah, this is also a good opportunity to check around to see if there's any max mushrooms that have popped up since I've last been here. Because we have gone on a couple of Dynamax raids since last being here. I'm still trying to earn up. Oh, what is that? I have not seen this Pokemon, right? I don't think so. Look at it, it's so cute. It's a Goomy. <laughs> oh, I love him. All right then, so let's catch Goomy. Because I've not seen this Pokemon, might as well take the opportunity. So Goomy right here, level 60. We are just gonna go ahead and throw out a quick ball. Now, I'm probably assuming that you evolve. So I might just wanna get you into our team right away. Oh, wow. Okay, that did not work. They're gonna use Body Slam now. Oh, poor Jazzy. He's not doing so well right now. I might just try another quick ball just in case. I don't know if that's the best idea, but sometimes it can work on the second throw. Not often, but sometimes. Nope, okay. So Gumi's a bit of a tough one. They're gonna use Body Slam again. I hope a Nuzzle's not too much on you. That has me a bit worried, but I think we'll try it because we have 39 levels on you. Oh no. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's not very effective, but it does paralyze you, which is exactly what I wanted. Paralyze, I can't move. So we might just try for it right now. Just like that, throw out an Ultra Ball. Oh, and it's a critical throw, come on, this has gotta be it. Critical throw, they're paralyzed, that's it. We get ourselves a Gumi. That's cute. All right, so let's read uh, the Pokedex entry on Gumi. Get some extra experience for everybody there too. Um, yeah, let's see what's going on. So Gumi Seed will be added to the Pokedex. It is a soft tissue Pokemon dragon type. Wow, their horns are powerful sensors. As soon as Gumi pick up any signs of enemies, they go into hiding. This is how they've survived. So no nickname for you, but I will add you to my party over somebody who's definitely evolved, which I think is everybody now. Yeah, the Palo Sand, Asmoreal, Exploud, Mind Chow, Sand Slash. So let's just do it over, uh, over that, the Palo Sand. And let's keep looking for more Diglets because there's only three more left to find. We got a tiny mushroom there. We just gotta make sure we sort of look at the both sides of everything. 
I'm also trying to press A a bunch. That way, if I just sort of stumble upon it, I have the chance of just picking it up. There's another one of those uh, bug Pokemon. I forget the name of at the moment. Because this way's a dead end, so let's explore this a little bit. Aha, and I already see it. Wow, okay, so let's hope I get lucky. There we go. Ta-da. Two more left to find here. So we'll also shake this. If we can take today to earn up some extra materials along the way, I think that's fantastic. So keep shaking. And one more time. Yay, no, no school of it's attacking us. So let's quit. Yep, two pink apricorns, one black apricorn, and two citrus berries. So let's keep going. So this is where the paths sort of split up. Luckily for this one, pretty simple. It's sort of a dead end here until it hits the tall grass. So we'll look on this side. And once again, the adventure continues when it comes to looking around for little tiny diglet hairs popping out of the ground. <laughs> Can't believe there's 150 of them to find, you know? It's just it's so much. And there's not one on that little island, is there? It really doesn't look like it. What was that noise? I was just say, uh, what is it called? A, not a, I forgot, some kind of shroom. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, once again, this is where things sort of stretch out for a while, so I might want to return here, but at the same time, if I'm here, might as well try it. What do we get here? A big mushroom. Huh. Yep, not seeing too much. And there's another one. Okay, well, I don't need another one, but good to know that they just pop up a lot in this area in the rain, I suppose. So no more diglets popping up around here, but this area could end up leading to one, who knows? Not looking like it though, because I remember coming over this area a little bit, looking for one, the exit to this place earlier in the story, but also when we were looking for the max mushrooms. So now we're over on this side, and there's lots to do here, so let's keep it all rolling. Luckily, they can't just sort of be in the water or anything. Oh, wow, a gold duck. Now we definitely have a gold duck, so I'm not too worried about that, but I don't know who made that noise. <laughs> it wasn't a diglet, that's for sure. I wish the Diglets would at least like, make a little noise when you get near them or something. Just anything to make it easier, really. And we haven't gone this way. I think this way is more of a dead end, so I'd like to try it. It most certainly is more of a dead end. And then over here, this is where it exits to the next area. And I'm not seeing much in terms of Diglets, though. And I think as we cross this bridge, yeah, it becomes a new area. So I'm not worrying about that. I can hop back on my bike. Go over this way. And now we're just searching this direction now. We looked all the other possible paths that we could go down at that moment. So that's good. But yeah, like I was saying before, I cannot wait to see the next DLC, which comes out later this year. We'll be playing it just like we did with this one. A lot of you really enjoyed this, so I'm really glad about that. And there's still more episodes of this as we try to complete the Pokedex here. We'll go, and then after that, we'll go back to the Gower region. But yeah, plenty more Pokemon action along the way. So I'm really happy for it, but for right now, Let's try and grab that Galar twig. I keep seeing these little flowers and thinking it's something, but not really. Still no max mushrooms either. Those have been surprisingly tough for me to find. Because I, I, I guess they don't show up every time you do a Dynamax raid. Because I feel like we would have a lot more at this point. Aha, here we go. Does that mean we have one more left to find? I think it does. Oh boy. Let's hope we can find it soon then. Here we go, there's an item, black apricorn. Seeing this quite often. So this way's a bit more of a dead end. It most definitely is. Yeah, there's nothing on that tree. I wasn't really clicking to do that, but so be it. Okay. It's gotta be around somewhere close though, because too much farther and we're back at the beginning again. But this is also where it splits up into a couple of different paths where it can get very confusing very quickly, so I'm trying to just play it safe, and there it is! Out of my way, Gold Duck. I'm getting myself a Diglett. There we go, so there's all of the Diglets in um, the Forest of Focus. So I'm just going to quickly zoom through to see real quick if there's any kind of, we already have you, any kind of Max Mushroom chilling out anywhere. I don't think so. No, oh, okay, you scared me there, Jazzy. And I guess that means we're good for this area. So I gotta find out which area we're going to next, and then I'll meet you there. 
So now our next one we're going to is on Challenge Beach, which we were right by here just earlier. There's only two to find, so that's both good because it's not much, but it's also difficult because I feel like I have pretty thoroughly searched this area already and I have not found it. And also if I go right over here, that's Courageous Cavern. So I sort of know where my boundaries are and I just have to search around. As we get closer, I do want to check to see what that might end up being over there, that Dynamax Cavern. I've decided that at this point, even if it is Aurora, we'll tackle it next episode because we're already pretty far into finding the Diglets now. I think I just want to stick with this. Do have some items on the floor though. Got a large leak. Found our first one of those earlier. Now we have two. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. <laughs> okay, so I'm not seeing too much over this way, but I will try to avoid everybody attacking me and see if there's any Diglets here. There's not. And that's where it's so tough when there's only, whoa! Wait a minute, well, no, we have you. I was gonna say, you're new, you're not new. It's Dedene. <laughs> okay, so I might just run from Dedene because I don't have, well, I mean, I could just use my fairy move. It should be good enough. Because I wanna level up our Gloomy. All right, should be a one-hit takedown. And Jazzy is so close to level 100. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that didn't get you. Really? And they're gonna do the same thing! <laughs> hey, that's my move! You can't just take that. All right, come on, try this again. And boom. Okay, so we, we got the Dene taken out. Sorry, you're so sad. Why are there so many little electric mice and rats and stuff? I don't know. But there we go. Not the most productive thing I wanted to put my time towards, but that's okay. And look along the beach a bit more. I feel like I didn't explore it too much because I felt like it'd be so obvious if there was a Diglett here that maybe I would have missed one, ironically. Aha, here's one. So that's gonna be one of two. Literally just looking for one more Diglett across this landscape. So try to find that and then she found the most awesome Pokemon of all time apparently. So let's see what that is. Oh, Carvana. I'll try to find that soon. Yeah, I wish that that would actually give you a chance to like find it more easily or something, but I don't think it does. <laughs> so I'm not gonna worry too much about the, the berries right now. Cause I just, I feel like I found a lot of berries. I could focus on more productive things. That might be better. I'm not seeing too much. I feel like I need to slow it down a bit. Because I'm sort of running through this pretty quickly. And I'm skipping over this wide open area where I could probably easily run past the Diglett and never even think twice about it. Oh, what is this? Pearl String. You find a lot of easily sellable stuff. I have a lot of stuff that we could probably sell, but I'm always worried that I'm gonna accidentally sell something we need. Okay, so bag of soft sand. And I guess since I'm right here, I'll check what this is. That is definitely not Zorora. <laughs> that is Palisand. Or maybe even the thing that evolves in the Palisand. It's a little sand castle. And when does this become something else? Because even this is Champion Beach then. Which does complicate things a little bit on where it could possibly be. Huh. It's not around here though, so I guess maybe it doesn't complicate things. If it was, it'd be super duper obvious, right? You would think, but I don't know. So I'm thinking it's gonna be on the grass. Just where exactly on the grass? Here it is, okay, finally. It was hiding in with the rocks and everything. There we go. Okay, so that is all of the diglets here on Challenge Beach. So, off to the next area. So here we are at Challenge Road, where once again, there's only like two or three left to find. So we will just try to thoroughly go over everything and hopefully there's a chance, not that I do that, but that I find a Pokemon I haven't seen because I feel like I just don't spend a lot of time on Challenge Road so far. So I definitely want to just give this a go. We can't like walk off on that. So you know, the nice thing about this area is that it's very specific little spots with dead ends. So it should be pretty clear when I, ha when I, when I have something here. So. Not seeing too much on this. So we can just go to the other dead end. I feel like most of this I have explored though, so that's probably why there's only a couple left and why it might take me so long to find it. And there's a revive, that's always nice to have another one of. Okay, run across there real quick. We'll get ourselves a star piece again. Hmm. Not too much going on over that way, so let's keep moving. And it, there's clearly nothing on this slope. Oh, that's a rock rough again. Oh, is that? No, okay, I was gonna say, maybe that's a nighttime rock rough. It's not. Anyways, this way is most definitely a dead end. So, whoa, watch it. Plenty of things diving for me here. 
And I'm just trying to take a look. Oh, it's the digging lady. I definitely want to talk to her, but wait a minute. Speaking of digging, we got the diglet right here. So how many are left to find? One more in this entire area. So we'll try to find that momentarily. But for right now, let's talk to you. Definitely want to take this opportunity. She's so tall. <laughs> um, So yeah, give me an arm right or, yep. And then she's gonna dig like she always does. And it didn't break her shovel. Awesome, so stop digging. <laughs> For sure, I don't want you to dig any more than that because usually you don't get that much farther for whatever reason. Anyways, we'll definitely see her again at some point, but for right now, where are those diglets? Wait, what is that? Oh, that's a, yeah, we, we know what that is. We just evolved one last episode. Okay, so that's this dead end cared for. Now that way is actually not a dead end that leads to the staircase uh, leading to another area. So I don't want to worry about that one just yet. Instead, when does this become the cave, the Brawler's Cave, which I'm pretty sure we found all the diglets in. So I'm just trying to look around this area for this moment. And then we'll go the other way with the staircase, but it's very likely it's somewhere down here because I feel like while I've explored this area, I haven't as thoroughly as I need to. I found a piece of armory ore, that's cool. But no diglet yet. Hmm, okay, maybe I'm wrong. I really don't see where else it could be. I sort of feel silly that I trained up my one Pokemon if I could have just caught it here. But at the same time, hey, it's out of the way. One less thing to worry about. So yeah, I guess it has to be down this way then. Checked every other direction. So let's hope it is. So this is where I might get off the bike again because it's a little bit more of a specific area. Definitely not gonna find on the staircase, right? Oh, it's right there, it's right there. There we go. So that one really wasn't that bad compared to some of the other areas, so there we go. All the diglets on Challenge Road. Now we're trying to go to, I think, what is it called? There's Brawler's Cave. Over this way, this is Workout Sea, Challenge Beach, Stepping Stone Sea, Insular Sea, Honeycomb Sea. Where was it? I was looking for Training Lowlands, Forest to Focus. There was somewhere else I was looking for. That's none of these places. Oh, Loop Lagoon, this is what I was looking for. Okay, I gotta get all the way over there now. So here we are at Loop Lagoon, I think, and there's only three to find around here. So that's where things get a little bit tricky, but there's one ready to introduce us to Loop Lagoon right there. Awesome, because I don't think, like this area is big, but a lot of it is water, which means we really have to pay attention. What is that? Oh, that's the thing that evolves into Grap Locked. We really have to pay attention to the area, the landmass that we do have to explore on and make sure that we find all of it. Because over this way, there's more sand. There's a diglet right there. How did I miss this? I feel like now that it's dark, it's actually easier. During the day, it's a lot brighter and this can sort of be washed out a little bit, but there's another one. Only one left to find. Is it really gonna be on this beach as well? I really don't think so. But hey, I'm glad I got that out of the way. So I'll keep looking now on this little beach. I remember checking this one quite thoroughly, so I would be surprised if it is, but it could be. All right there, we got a bag of soft sand. And we got this lady. Um, I came from a different region. Are you looking for, maybe you have a Meowth from here? A Galarian Meowth. We already have a Galarian Meowth, so I'm actually not too interested. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know why they want to trade you some of the Pokemon like we already have, we already have gotten from other people. Well, I guess they do. So, not too much going on around this way. And there's not really too many other small islands like that, or small beaches or anything. Because if you go too far out, you end up just being part of the ocean, I think. So we'll check this big part in a moment. I know I was just there a few episodes ago, though. But out this way, is this the sea? Yep, that's the Stepping Stone Sea, as soon as you head out of here. So, don't even worry about that. There is some... Maybe, it says it's red, but as we get closer, we'll find out. These aren't restoring as fast as I thought they did. Cause I thought they were just restored once a day, but I don't know, it's been more of a day since I've last played and a lot of these just aren't back yet. That's a little weird. Anyways, yeah, definitely this is the only possible place this last Ziggler could be. So I'm definitely going to look through as much as I can and try to find it. Maybe on this side, seeing a lot of repeat Pokemon, nothing new here. And when it gets on the grass, that's when it's definitely tougher. Lots of little brush area where I can sort of lose my way. Not around here. What about back over this way? Because I feel like a more wide open area like this, a good chance I could have missed something. 
Oh, what was that? Just no, a little octopus thing. This lady again, what does he want to trade this time? No, no, this is just the most awesome Pokemon ever she's seen. Uh. Oh, Drag Dra Dragalge. I guess the evolution of what she saw showed us earlier. Very cool, I can't wait to catch that too. Or at least maybe evolve it from the other thing that we can hopefully catch. <laughs> I haven't seen it anywhere yet. Oh, and here it is. There we go, so that wasn't too bad. So there we go, all of the Diglett and Loop Lagoon have been found. Now, let me pick up that one item. A sweet apple. Nice, a peculiar apple that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. It's exceptionally sweet. Now, we are going to go to the town map. And I think I wanted to go to the training lowlands now. And this is where Digging Paw is. You know, we should probably take the time to do this as well. Um, Digging Paw, buddy, I have 31 arm right, or you need seven. So let's definitely do this, because we need as many watts as we can get at this point. So let's see how much he can get us, because usually it's a good like 30 to 50,000. So let's hope that he will give us that much this time. Maybe we'll get luckier, maybe it'll be more, maybe it'll be less, I don't really know, because we haven't done it a ton of times, so we just really don't know what the going rate is. Because we did, I think once we got 50,000, and once we got 30,000, the 50,000 one I sort of gave up, because I, I didn't know if, if he hit his shovel the wrong way, if it would all get canceled. 28,000 that time, so seems like 30,000 is the average. I'm gonna do it one more time now because we need as many watts as we can so that we can figure out the dojo. And then also, I know eventually I'm going to want to uh, buy more wishing pieces, especially if we're just hunting everywhere for Zorora. It seems like it's tough to get what I, I want. <laughs> okay, that's all he, he can do for right now. So it's actually less and less every time I try, so maybe not worth worrying about for right now. Whoa, why does this Kangaskhan look different? I think it's because it's nighttime. All right, well, we got a Kangaskhan, we got a Tauros. Don't have to worry about any of that. So I don't remember how many Diglett I have left to find in this area, but here's one of them. Uh, there we go. So there's a Diglett, and 11 more left to find in this area. Wow, I did not do well here. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know if I really was trying that hard for Diglett specifically in this area. I was looking so hard for Pokemon that I just couldn't really do that multitasking. Anyways, there's one right here. Which means we have 10 left more to find. So there's gotta be some nearby. And that's what I'm gonna do to just, or do my best to search everywhere. Here's another one. So this area might be another, like one of the, the marsh areas where it's just, it's so open, so many chances to mess things. I'm probably gonna have to double back multiple times. So more than double. Okay, well, now's a good time to get started with it though. I, I do wonder if there'll be any equivalent to this. Here's another one in the, the next DLC, the Tundra one. Maybe there'll be, I don't know, some kind of snow Pokemon, Snom. I would love to hunt down little Snoms. They're so cute. They're one of my favorite new additions. Who knows how? I don't think it's really that bad. It just, it does get a little tedious looking around everywhere for them, but I don't know, they, they could have done something worse, you know? I'm not having not fun with it. And it's not anything mandatory. You don't have to do this, so that's sort of the cool thing about it. Anyways, what did she see this time? I'm curious. A Hapini. Now that is something that I think I need to breed to other Pokemon to get. The, the two of these. Clefairy maybe? Is that, is that its name? Something like that? That might be a different Pokemon. Anyways, not too much going on in this side. Don't bother with me side. Did you see? I turned on. He's like, nope, nope. It's like a boo from Super Mario. Just as soon as you turn on them, uh, they just fly away. Revival Herb, awesome. I don't want to go too far out this direction just yet. Soon enough, yeah, but not right now. That's a float stone. And there's another Diglett. Okay, so this brings us down to nine, I think. Right? Seven, oh, okay, I've missed count already. That's fine with me. That's a lot better than I thought. And then what about in this little corner? Not seeing anything. Okay, well, tried. Back up here then, because this is where it connects to the forest. Whoa, there's actually a lot more here than I remembered. And there's another Diglett hiding behind the, the thing right here. Awesome. Six more left to find. Don't think there's going to be any else near this entrance, but here is where I can poke around a bit more than I expected. So now it's making a bit more sense why there were so many missing. Yeah, we already have that guy. And then this leaves, leads to a cave I'm not really worried about, but over here, wait, what did I find? No, I don't want to fish right now. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> not what I meant to do. 
any diglets in this spot. No, this lily pop really wants to get me, but I'm sorry. I can't, I'm too busy. I wish I could play right now, but this is not a good time. Oh, wait, does this count? I guess it does, because I do see a diglet right over this way. And that is five more left. What are the chances? There's one on this side too. There's an item on the floor. A great ball, cool. More Pokeballs are always good. I'm not seeing anything else over here, so I think we're good. And let me just sneak around this side if I can. I think we're good to explore, because we poked around this side. Yep, I remember that. Now we can go here. And I don't remember if we were over there. I think we were. Well, if we don't find what we're looking for, we'll go back to that area. Hmm. There's another Tauros. That's cool and everything, but just not really what I'm looking for, is it? And I was already on the island at the end of last episode. Once again, looking for Zorora. Aha, but I, I did not find him. But we might wanna double check. So that's four more left. Because there's also this little part of the island. I definitely didn't even go on here, did I? I might have, <laughs> I have no clue. I don't wanna fish, <laughs> not what I meant to do. Really looking like it's not over here then. Is that, that's okay, a Barrascuta. Not worrying about that, there is a Diglett on here. Awesome. And that means there's three left. Got a rare candy, oh that's a good find. Now I remember going over here, so I'd be very surprised if I missed out on a Diglett. And it doesn't seem like I did, so. There's that out of the way. Three more left to find on the mainland then. Not over this way, excuse me, sir. Aha, here's one. Two more left to find. They gotta be nearby. Here's another item, a large leak again. I like how I've apparently never found one of those before, but now I've found three of them in today's episode. Okay. Hmm. There's gotta be one somewhere around here. If there's two remaining, and we've searched everywhere else so thoroughly, you'd think. There's a jar of honey. But at the same time, I'm not so sure. There, okay, wow, I can't believe I missed this one. I walked right past it several times. One more left to find. Oh, oh, there it is, wow. Okay, did I ever even search this little corner? I don't know, but there we go, that's the last one. Hall of the Diglett in the Training Lowlands. Now I gotta go and find out where I'm going next. So, the last three spots I have are for the Workout Sea, the, ins or the Honeycomb Sea, and then the Insular Sea. So, we're gonna work here first, and there's a good collection of islands, some even way out here, that I definitely have not found. So, yeah, and if I take another look, how many were in the Workout Sea then? Um. Five, that makes sense because like I said, there seemed to be a good portion of islands I simply just have not explored over there. So yeah, let's go check them out. I know we're gonna be running in a lot of those shark Pokemon, but so be it. We're just gonna head out there. Ignore the, <laughs> ignore those guys. And starting from way down there, I feel like it should be good to go out there first. Okay, work out C and go out as far as I can for right now. Cause there's a limit on how far I can go. That's for sure. Okay, keep going. Because I know there was like a little indent on the side here. Yep, right over this way. So this is a good marker on where we are, where we're trying to go, all that kind of stuff. Because the map doesn't really tell us itself. And there is, what do you know? A beached diglet. <laughs> so that is going to be four more left to find. I might as well shake this tree. It's a very lonely berry tree, all out here by itself but I'm sure there's a school of it on it because they always find a way, don't they? One more time. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's quit out of this one then. And I wanna see our town map now. So we're right there and I'm now just gonna try to go to that island. It's a big square. So that shouldn't be too bad to get to, right? I would hope. There's not too many shark Pokemon running around just yet. So that's good. And like, I guess I could just go up this way. What is this sea then? Um, that's the stepping stone sea, which I guess I have found them all there. Because it was only the other two seas that I need to worry about. But then we have found all the Diglett, which is amazing. 
So this is another island I'm pretty sure I've just never been to. And there's a Diglett waiting for me on it, cool. So that's now three left to find. And I need to be thorough here. The other one was pretty easy. Whoa! What is, oh, it's a Rotom. It's a little lawnmower Rotom. Yeah, the Rotoms have different um, forms, I guess, and they're all of household objects. But do we have a Rotom? No, we don't. So let's get, definitely go and catch this with a quick ball. Now, I don't think Rotom evolves, but I would very much so like to catch it. Come on. Yes, okay, we caught Rotom. Now, we've seen quite a few Rotoms. Our Pokedex is a Rotom, technically, I think. Uh, and we get to level 100 with Jazzy, yay, congrats! Our first level 100 Pokemon. That's so cool. And as you can see, Rotom Z will be added to the Pokedex. It is a Plasma Pokemon, Electric Grass. This is the Mo Rotom. In this form, Rotom focuses its antics on plants. Any flowers you were growing are you're, you were growing are going to get mowed down. <laughs> okay, no nickname to you. Uh, just sending you to a box. Very interesting Pokemon to get for sure. And right next to it, another Diglett. And I see another one up there too. Are those the last ones we needed? Well, there was. Okay, there might still be more. Let's get some extra watts out of that. And, hmm. Oh, hello. Who are you? Uh, if you weave together Galerica twigs, you can make a bracelet. If you give me eight Galerica twigs, I'll weave a Galerica cuff for you. Do you want one? Yeah, okie dokie, leave it to me. I guess I already have eight Galerica twigs. Weaving, weaving, weaving. Here it is, freshly made, just for you. You obtained a Galerica cuff. A cuff made from woven together Galarica twi twigs. Giving it to a Galarian Slowpoke will make that makes the Pokemon very happy. Ooh, it looked very nice on Slowpoke. If you want more cuffs, please bring me more Gal Galarica twigs. So that's cool. I'm guessing that means that we can maybe evolve Slowpoke with that or something. TR43, overheat, cool. Um, the user attacks the target at full power. The attacks recoil harshly lowers the user's special attack stat. And then finally, Let's get this Diglett. So I'm looking for one last Diglett somewhere on one of these tinier islands, I suppose. Oh boy, that might take me a moment. So, let's take a quick look at the map first. Because we're on the square one. Over here. <laughs> might seem like we're over there, we're over here. Um, and then we're just gonna go to that one circle. Which I'm guessing is, oh no, here we go again. This one right here. Is there anyone really on top of this? Oh, here he comes. Quickly, pedal away, pedal away. Oh, this is not good. He's right behind me still. Okay, we gotta resist feather. What else, a genius feather? Lots of feathers around here. Swift feather. I don't think there's a way on top of this one. I'm going to keep looking now. Oh wait, we missed something. Another resist. Yeah, okay, well, that's sort of a good thing. It means there's one last thing we have to worry about. And a pretty feather. So back to the town map. <laughs> I like how the camping is grayed out. Yeah, you can't camp here. Let's go to this tiny island way off in the distance, which should be that one. Okay. Oh no, here we go again. Can I get in the run right into this? That'd be perfect. Yes, thank you. Uh, that's one less guy to worry about. Let's keep it moving. I guess maybe I should have gone to that island first. I don't know. We'll go right over to it in just a moment. I don't know if I've ever gone out to this one, so. Chances are there might be a Diglett waiting for me here. I really hope so. Um, not looking like it though. Nope. Oh well. So next one is just gonna be that little island. Oh, where is it? Right over there. But I gotta go right towards the shark. Come on, don't let him get me. Don't let him get me though. No! Wait, pedal. There we go. <laughs> Man. Now this one, very unlikely that it's on here. Yep, so, now we're going to bike over this way, and same deal, hope he doesn't get me. Oh, he's right behind me though. Come on, come on. There we go. So, oh, and there it is, I see it. So there's a revive, and there's our last diglet for this ocean, or this sea. And all the diglet were found in the workout sea. Cool. I'll get some energy right there. What's interesting is I still have not found any other battles except for that one? Yeah, I don't know why they're just less and less now. There were so many before, but not anymore. Sort of bums me out. Anyways, there were a couple left to find on the Honeycomb Sea and the Insular Sea. 
The insular sea will technically be easier, I think, but I mean, the honeycomb sea doesn't really have too many islands anyways. So we'll try it. <laughs> that was a weird noise from the pelican. So insular sea is actually out this way. This guy's already charging for me from so far away. Wow, he's determined. Will this make him go away? Yes, it will. I'm a little turned around already though. If we go to the town map, I'm currently, it says that, that's baloney. Um, I guess I just gotta keep going. I don't think it's this island I'm facing now, but it's not that one. So maybe I'm totally wrong. Anyways, here's the insular sea. So maybe I'm, I'm wrong. This is the island we're trying to get to. I tried to pick that up, it didn't work. So I'm just gonna keep moving. I don't like moving the same direction as these guys. We're just gonna keep going, come on, come on. I think that was one of the fish I've been trying to catch from Remoraid. Maybe at some point. We'll, we'll get that in the Galar region though. So here we are, we're still in the Insular Sea, so I can only imagine this is what we're looking for. I don't know if we've been here, and if we've been here, how many Diglett are still left to find. Now I think we've been on this island. Okay, so I found a Timid Mint. When a Pokemon smells this mint, its speed will grow more easily, but its attacks will grow more slowly. So that's fine. What was that that we just saw? That was Zoingle, okay, nothing exciting. So, not looking like there's anything here. I remember pretty thoroughly exploring this this island. So, now that we are here, I think. No? Well, oh, okay, now I see what I'm getting so confused. That over there is part of the Insular Sea. There's no way to get onto that, which means the last Diglett, or however many Diglets are around, it has to be on this tiny little island over there. I mean, I don't know what the odds of that are, because I don't know how many t uh, Diglets are we missing, you know? Well, let's just go over. I'm going to try to hide behind this so that, you know, you can't get me. It works. <laughs> Pretty good tactic right there. If you're tired of dealing with those guys, try that out. There better be a Diglet. Oh wow, there actually are two Diglets right here. Right next to each other. I guess they're little friends. Aw, that's so cute. You get the both at once. Whoa, hey. Okay. Doug Trio returned to its trainer. One more Diglet to find an insular sea. Where? What are you talking about? And as soon as I get back on the island, I immediately find it. It's in the red little uh, flowers here. There we go. So that is every Diglet in the insular sea, which means there's only one less place to find some Diglet, and that is going to be the Honeycomb Sea, which is over here. So I think it might be slightly faster if we were to go to the Digging Lowlands again, and then just cut our way through. So. Just go over this way. I'm going to ignore a lot of these guys because we just don't need to bother with them. And there really isn't too much in terms of islands on the Honeycomb Sea either. So as long as we can just make our way over there for right now, that'd make it much easier. Oh no, <laughs> here he comes. No matter where you go, they'll find you. They can smell you apparently. Am I going the right way? Can you not get to the Honeycomb Sea from here? I mean, apparently I'm already at the Honeycomb Sea. I can't go this way. What's going on with that game? Okay, so I'm a tad bit confused because these three circles is, okay, so I'm here. So there really can't be very many available. We'll have to wait and see for right now because Oh boy, they're chasing me down again. Here he comes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stop this guy. We might have to fight this one. Come on, quickly. Whoa, 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 I need you. I need you. There we go. This is not a horsey, but what evolves, horsey evolves into a Seedra. So we still need to find horsey somewhere. But hey, if we catch this, we won't have to evolve that horsey, so that's good. Anyways, uh, throw a quick ball and hope this works out. Yes, it's a critical. That's good, because if we hit you with a, uh, a a, a nuzzle, it just really wouldn't work. I think it'd be one hit takedown. Awesome, Seedra was caught. And, get some extra experience for everybody, not bad. So, Seedra in the Pokedex. It is a dragon Pokemon, but it's not a dragon type. <laughs> Water. Uh, Seedra's mouth is slender, but its suction power is strong. In an instant, Seedra can suck in food that's larger than the opening of its mouth. How does that work? Do I really wanna know? I don't think so. So we're just gonna send you to a box because I'm pretty sure you're you're at your maximum evolution. And hey, that made the shark go away, so that's cool. So definitely look around for a lot of Pokemon around here because we might run into something new. Anyways, 
There's supposed to be an island somewhere. I'm a little lost. I think actually I, I might have saw it there. The problem is it's tough to see and that can't be it, can it? Did I pass it? Oh no, I gotta watch where I'm going. I'm gonna run right into one of these sharks. Oh, it's there, it's there. That has to be it then. Oh my gosh, seriously? Okay, you're going down. Actually, no, I might run away from you because I just remembered that they do, uh, they have the rough skin. That's sort of the worst part about them. If it was just a bunch of these guys tackling us all the time, that's one thing. When it's a bunch of them tackling us all the time and they also have the rough skin that makes it so we take damage no matter what, that's a little much. Let's try this tiny little patch of an island and hope that there's a diglet on there. Is this, this part's tough. <laughs> I am not seeing any diglets whatsoever. It's a nice little rust spot, I suppose. This doesn't even seem right. That, yeah, that doesn't look right to me, but I don't know. The problem is that our smiley face is sort of covering up potentially where there's an island, and that makes it very confusing. So I'm gonna go to the Honeycomb Island, the Honeycomb Island, whatever it is, really quickly. Just like, wait, what is that? Oh, oh, I need this. There we go, cool. And this is a wild Skrelp, super cute. I just need to catch you real quick and then we'd also need to put you in our party so that we can evolve you. So, uh, throw out a quick ball, just like that, and please let it work. It's not gonna be a critical, but, come on, don't jump out. Don't jump out. Thank you. All right, Skrelp was caught. Good to see it. So, some bonus experience, nothing major. And with this one, Scrope's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is a mock kelp Pokemon, poison water. Scrope looks like a piece of rotten seaweed, so it can blend in with the seaweed drifting on the ocean and avoid being detected by enemies. Very cool. So, no nickname for Scrope, but we will most definitely add you to the party. And just put you over as a morale. Doesn't really matter which one. So, with that done, let's get on to the safety of the island. And that over there was where we found the Doug tree out. So where are the Diglets? I'm so confused. So I've been looking around this area. Oh, I might have just found something. As long as I'm not getting this mixed up. So we're actually heading towards the water tower, as you can see, which is still all part of the Honeycomb Sea. It's, it's a very large area. Um, and I was thinking there must be an entrance somewhere I'm missing to something. And I guess this would technically still count as the Honeycomb Sea for some reason. But I mean, I guess, what else would it be? Aha, and here's a Diglett. Okay, so that means how many are left? One? Let's hope it's one. Yes, one more left. Get some extra energy here. And I see the last Diglett we need. Come on now. Let's go ahead and get Tri Attack as well, TR19. Do we have this one? Yes, we do. Okay, and there we go, the final Diglett daily. All right, Diglett returned to his trainer. You found all the Diglett that were in the Honeycomb Sea, and I'm pretty sure all the Diglett in general. We're gonna find out. So if we go all the way back over here to the Fields of Honor. Let's go ahead and give that guy a talking to and hope that it really is the last of it. I really don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure. So first we just go to his little checkboard right here. Um, remaining deal to be found, zero, 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 zero. Cool, we found them all. Hey, buddy. Oh, hello. Thanks to you, 62 more Diglett came back to me. One of them has evolved into Doug Trio. <laughs> The number of Diglett that came to back, back hit 100, so I'd like to give this Pokemon to you. I met this Pokemon in Alola, just like my Diglett. Use it. Wow, Litten! Okay, thank you! Wow, so we got our starter from uh, Ultra Sun. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not gonna give you a nickname, but I will actually add you to the party. That'd be fantastic. I'm so happy about Litten. Uh, let's put you over Exploud. Very cool. If you find 151 Diglett, please let me reward you. I think I did, though. Oh, hello. Ah, including the one that just came back. The number of Diglett we have come back is, what? All 151 came back? Thank you so much. Thanks to you, all my Diglett have come back. <laughs> I think this Diglett is saying that you're worthy of its respect because you found them all. Indeed I did. <laughs> What, you wanna to go together with this trainer because you respect him? Be, <laughs> hmm, I feel a bit sad, but 
I mean, you have 150 other ones. If that's what it wants, I'll respect it, Twish. Please take good care of it. All right, so 151 Diglets found throughout the Isle of Armor, and now we finally get our own. Diglet became your Pokemon. Now, do I already have a Diglet? I guess I don't. Well, maybe. Hold on. Give it a nickname, no thank you. Send to a box. So the fact that it didn't have a Pokedex entry means that we've already gotten it. But that was awesome. So all 151 Diglett have been found across the Isle of Armor. And that means that next episode will be focused on some other stuff. I'll be trying to still find Zorora. And if we have extra time, maybe we can also do some other stuff. I'm still looking also for max mushrooms and plenty of other things. But with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.